I make my way to the bridge and there's roughly 18 or 20 people on the bridge and it's, it's very chaotic. It's a lot of screaming, a lot of yelling. What are you hearing on the bridge? I'm hearing alarms. I'm hearing radio chatter, mayday, mayday, mayday. We've lost propulsion. We've lost power. We have a fire, mayday. You know, th all these sorts of things are, are, are being said. And in the middle of that, I remember, you know, we got man overboard, man overboard on the starboard forward deck. So I report to the captain, there's been a massive explosion. At a very minimum, number three engine has exploded and completely took off the back of the rig. Um, and it, I remember that blank look he gave me of, of disbelief. He didn't believe what I was telling him. And I re-emphasized it to, again. I said, look, we, we are in bad trouble. And I look out the window. The bridge is, is literally glass windows all the way around. And I see one of the lifeboats in the water and it's motoring away from the vessel. I looked at the captain and asked him, I said, what's going on? He said, I've given the order to abandon ship. I said, it's about time. We've got to make our way down a flight of stairs off of the bridge to get to the lifeboat deck, which is just adjacent to the bridge. It's, it's not very far, maybe 20 yards. But we have to go down a flight of stairs that are covered in inches of mud, hydraulic oil, just the drilling fluids and, and whatever else. They're, they're, it's everywhere. When we get to the very last step, about eight of us, the other lifeboat starts descending. They're leaving without you? They have left without the captain and without knowing that they had everyone that had survived all this on board.